Yo, everybody, it's Toothpick from the Everything Gang. Today, I'm gonna give five reasons why Gotham is a good show, and in the next video, I'll give five reasons why Gotham is a bad show. Reason number one, I'm going to talk about Edward Nigma, aka the Riddler. Adaptation of the Riddler is amazing. In the first season, he's an insecure guy, and when you're watching the character, you pity him. I really enjoyed watching this character in the first season, but for the second one, he's awesome. How well he transformed. He's such a lovable character, even when he turns evil. It's just, he's just awesome. Number two is Jerome, aka the Joker, sort of. So, when we first introduced the Joker, I hated it. Like, I was like, are they doing the Joker without Batman? That's stupid! And his backstory, it sucks! You are maybe wondering, if it sucks, why is it in the top five good reasons? Well, it's in the five good reasons because when he goes and escapes from Arkham, he's a good Joker. For me, the Joker can be interpreted in so many different ways that no one is perfect, but a lot of them are good, except the Jared Leto one. It really, really sucked. But this Joker is lovable. Of course he has flaws, like they called him Jerome, and he's actually called John Doe in the comics, but I don't care about that. But there is one, one, one big flaw that deserve a spot in the bad reasons. Number three, Oswald Cobblepot, aka the Penguin. He has so many character development. Every scene that he is in is great. You'll see in my five reasons this show is bad, but I continue watching this show because of this character. I mean, look at this scene. That is good character development. You understand everything. You know that the woman singing is important to the man sitting, like because he is the only one clapping. He loves her so much that he goes to murder the guy who insulted her. I love this scene. Number four, the mafia dilemma. So for this one, I'm going to take a little Italian accent. So there's Don Falcone and Don Moroni, and there's a one between them. Don Falcon is the crime king, but he has Fish Mooney, who wants to take his place, but Fish Mooney works for him at the same time. Then, you got Don Moroni, he has the penguin, who he worked for Fish Mooney, the penguin, okay? And then you got Don Falcon, but Fish Mooney thinks that penguin is dead because Gordon was supposed to kill him because he's a snitch. But in fact, it was all benefits for Don Falcon because he knew about this plan. So Penguin would tell everything about Fish Mooney to Don Moroni and he will give all the plan from Don Moroni to Don Falcon. So then, Don Falcon can get rid of Mooney and Moroni at the same time. Sorry for the racism, but let's get back. Everything I said wasn't even spoiling. There were so many plot twists and there's so many twists, there's so many turns that I didn't even talk about half of it. Number five, the lighting and the color. They did a great job. You always have this dark feeling, even during the day, just like the comics. And the lighting, the lighting is just amazing. Blends so well with the colors. I know this one is a short explanation, but it's, it, it's so good. They did a good job, okay? Cut me some slack. 